Hi guys, it's Melissa from the Melmar Group. I haven't put out a video for a while, so I had a few minutes on this gloomy day and I thought I would just come on and do a quick chat with you. So I hope everything is going well in your world. <clears throat> There's nothing horrible happening in mine, just some frustrations with not finding a home yet. Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you've watched my channel, for any period of time, you know that we're trying to find a home. I got my real estate license to try to help with that. Um, I sat down yesterday and thought about how long this process has been and I have wanted to move for eight years. I have actively been looking every day online and going to see homes for the past almost two years. And I got my real estate license nine months ago to help with the process, and here we are. And for some reason, when, when we find a home that we feel can work for our family, it doesn't work out. Um, there was one before Christmas that I loved, loved that house. Um, really felt like that was our home, and it didn't work out. And we had one just recently this past month that great location, newer home. Um, it was a little bit of a stretch for us, but we could do it. And um, just the realtor, the listing agent was just a jerk and told me that I, you know, it was offensive that I was trying to negotiate on the price and all sorts of things. And then I find out yesterday the home sold for less than I even offered. Uh, so who was wrong on the price, buddy? Um, but just stupid things like that just keep happening. And so that's been really frustrating. So if you've ever had a situation where you've really wanted something and it hasn't worked out um, on the timeline that you would like, I would love to hear about it. Uh, this isn't a matter of me just wanting a new kitchen. Um, this is for the health of my family. We have been living in a neighborhood where um, it's very it's predominant as far as religion goes. And um, we have chosen not to participate in the religion at this time because there was less than a less than supportive environment there for us, I'll put it that way. Um, there were some good people, but there were some people that made it somewhat hostile at times for us to go to church of all things. And in this area where I live, um, and with this community, if you're not going to church and you're not actively involved with them, um, then you're not really involved with them at all because their whole life is this meeting and that meeting and this group and that group. And so I lost, I lost a good friend. Um, my husband lost his best friend. Um, we just, we just, we had to step away for our own health because I don't believe that religion should be hostile and cause anger. And um, so we've just been sitting here waiting and hoping to move and to have a fresh start. And I know that it wasn't the religion, it was the people involved, um, but I don't feel like we, it would be healthy for us to get back into that community. So like I said, this is not a matter of just wanting a new kitchen or a new address. This is wanting a place where my kids can participate in things, we can make friends, we can put down roots, know that we wanna be there and all of that. So um, if you've ever had a situation where, like I said, you have really wanted something and you had to wait and it was worth the wait, I would love to hear about it. And if you are someone that prays or that sends good thoughts or whatever you got that you can send my way that's good, I would appreciate that too because for some reason this just isn't working out. So um, it's nothing horrible. We don't have like a major illness or anything like that, but I'm watching the health and the happiness of the people I love just go down and that makes the mom sad so um in other news our school year is almost over um my daughter has been doing my one daughter has been doing online school 
And we're just, don't tell her, but we're just, I'm just done. Um, my other daughter has a couple more weeks left. They're doing state testing right now, so school is a joke some days. Um, but so we have that going on. Um, I decided to get an additional certification for my real estate stuff. So I've been working on that and I'm hopeful that that will give me some credibility when uh, and if we make an offer on another home and with some of these agents that want to um, fluff the price up, I'm hoping that that will help and that it will also help in my virtual assistant business um, because I can help agents and, and give them um, some certified, some help from someone that's gone through and gotten a, an additional certification. Um, and other than that, we've just had crazy weather. It's hot and it's cold and it's rainy. Um, I think one day we had snow and then it was supposed to be 70 the next day. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and just, just that's what's going on with us. So I would love to hear what's going on with you. I'm going to, um, be selling a bunch of homeschool stuff. I don't know if you guys want to know anything about it. Um, I just normally sell it online in Facebook groups, um, but I have some name brand stuff like Apologia and teaching textbooks and things like that. So if you're interested at all, um, just let me know and we can talk privately about it. And um, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for um, anything that you do to try to send good vibes our way. We can use all that we can get. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye.